So here is the Bell's play along for page nine in the Tradition of Excellence book. Um, I'm going to be starting with um, my screen down here and writing in the items that I need for the notes. So I'm actually going to move that just a little bit. You won't see this one won't be blocking once we go to play. So I've got the notes D, C, B flat, C, D, 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 C, 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 D, F, F, D, C, B flat, C, D, D, ah. Um, there's four of those, so D, 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 C, C, D, C, and then down to B flat. Okay, important to know, since you have more than one B flat on the, the instrument, you need to know that you're going down to B flat. It's not up higher, so you have to make sure that you're playing the one furthest down on the keyboard set and not up top. Should sound like that. Not. Okay, and when we're moving, you should move down to your left, not up to your right to play B flat, because otherwise it's a lot higher. It should sound lower. Okay, so don't make, make sure you're playing the correct B flat. All right, here we go. We're going to play through. This is number 23, Merrily We Roll Along. Just the part, no accompaniment. Two, ready, go. And repeat. And reminder that this should be, for the most part, alternating hands. Now, uh, sometimes it's easier for me to repeat one note or, or maybe even two notes. Um, but if I am constantly doing only my dominant hand, the hand that I write with, I'm going to run into trouble when I need to go faster because this will not work going faster. Okay you have to be alternating hands and not doing just your dominant hand. Okay, let's do with the accompaniment now. Two, ready, go. again. So that's merrily we roll along. If the notes that you're using don't match those pitches, it probably means that you're playing on this set of, like around the set of three rather than the set of two. So if I start there, oops, if I do this. I'll get wrong notes. So if you're doing that, um, it means that you're centered around the wrong spot. So you'll you'll hear pitches that don't match. So you need to start. We've got the set of two and the set of three. The set of the top of the set of two is E flat, which we don't happen to play in this one, but D is right down from it. So here's E flat. D is right there. 
Okay, if your pitches don't match, you're playing in the wrong spot. All right, let's go through the next one. Now, because of how big these are, I'm going to have to clear this. So if you need notes, just pause the video and see if you can decipher my handwriting. Okay. Number 24, Itsy Bitsy Spider. And this is about as high as I can get this to go. So, But we can see it, which is perfect. So I've got B flat. And there's three of them, B flat, B flat, B flat, C, D, and then rest, D, D, C, B flat, C, D, B flat. Okay, then we have D, and there's three of them, D, 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 E flat, F, F, F. E flat, D, E flat, F, and down to B flat. Again, make sure that it's down, not jumping up. It makes a difference, okay? And it's important. So let's play through that one. <clears throat> I'll just kind of think through the notes while it's loading. All right, no accompaniment this first time, I'm down to 75 beats per minute. Here we go. Starting on B flat, three, four, Okay, now let's do it with the accompaniment. Two, ready, go. Going to the next one, we have Alrueda. So I'm going to erase that. And I'm going to move my page. Make sure that I, there we go, I can see just fine. Okay, so first let's go through the notes. So I have D, there's three, one, two, so D, 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 E flat, F, C, F, F, E flat, C, E flat, D, B flat. Okay, then we have ah, D, 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 E flat, F, C. And this is probably the trickiest bit. F, E flat, D, C. B flat. Okay. No accompaniment the first time and down to 75 beats per minute. Here we go. Alrueda. Two, ready, go. Two, 
and again. Probably again, the hardest part is going from um, F, E flat, D, C, B flat. So we start at the bottom, uh, F is the bottom of the set of three. So F, E flat, D, C, B flat. Okay. And if you need to practice that nice and slow, F, E flat, D, C, B flat, then you can just do that. Pause the video and you can come back when you're ready. Okay, here we go at 75 BPMs with accompaniment this time. Two, ready, go. On to the last one for this video. Um, we're skipping Love Somebody because we it's kind of difficult to do a duet when we all we can play with is ourselves. So I'm going to clear this and I'll move the book up because we're going to do Good King Wenceslas now. This is the one for our concert, remember. Okay, we're not going to play any faster Oops. than what I'm going to set it at at 75 here unless the whole group is getting really, really good and needs to play it faster. Okay, but for the most part, we're probably just going to stick right around here. So we've got the notes, E flat, and we're not going to worry about soli soli right now. Oops, that F flat is way out there. So we've got E flat, E flat, E flat, F, E flat, E flat, B flat, C, B flat, C, D, E flat, rest, E flat. The nice thing is, like we talked about in class, um, once we get those first four measures down, these next notes repeat themselves. So we've got E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, F, E flat, and there's two of them, E flat, E flat, B flat, then C, B flat, C, D, E flat, rest, E flat. Okay, and then it repeats. Repeat. All right, here we go. No accompaniment. Good King Wenceslas. Two, ready, go. And again. Okay, and now I really like the accompaniment, so I'm excited that we're going to play with the accompaniment. Here we go. Two, ready, go. Thank you. 
made some mistakes. So let's go ahead and play it one more time so you get a really good take where Mrs. Steck doesn't screw up playing that B-flat. Last time. Ready, go. That's all there is to it. All right, guys, I'll see you in class. Have a great one.